I'm Seth Shostak, astronomer here at the SETI Institute. Well, the media have been calling me up this morning. Why? They think maybe we found the aliens. Now, what's the basis of this story? Well, I'll tell you. The CHIME telescope up in Canada, in Alberta, Canada, CHIME. It stands for Canadian High Intensity Mapping. Nope, let me take that again. Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment. I mean, what kind of twisted acronym is that? has detected another fast radio burst. But the thing about this particular signal is that it repeats every 16.35 days. So every 16 and some days, this fast radio burst lights up, it goes psh, like that in the radio telescope. And then for the next four days, roughly every hour, it goes psh, 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 right? It's doing this very regularly. So could it be aliens trying to get in touch well, I don't know. Let, well, first, let me give you the name of this thing in case you want to refer to it, you know, in, during your lunch break. I, I happen to have gotten a name badge from this particular uh, <clears throat> object, and this burster is called FRB, that's fast, radio burst, 180916J0158 plus 65. I mean, you know, it's an easy name, and uh, but uh, what it really is is the date it was first found and its position on the sky. So it's a great name to have. Imagine if you had a, a name that was, you know, when you were first found and where you were born. I mean, it would be easy, right? Anyhow, this fast radio burst repeats every 16 days. What does that tell us? Well, it tells us that now, since we know when it's coming, every 16 days you can turn some of the telescope in its direction, we can learn a lot about it. And my guess is, while we still don't know what causes these babies, it's not aliens, because this one was found in a galaxy 500 million light years away. That's a long drive, okay? And we found other fast radio bursts that are 3 billion light years in that direction. They're not all in touch with one another. This is something natural. But the fact that it's every 16 days, you know what that sounds like to me? Going out on a limb here. But to me, that sounds like something orbiting a black hole, very close to the black hole. Every 16 days, it goes around the black hole and something happens. Well, I'm probably wrong about that, but I figure within a year, we'll know what these fast radio bursts really are. And then you can, uh, you know, you can abuse me on social media for guessing wrong.